Once you are in Austria, you have three days to register yourself in Austria. On Sunday, every grocery store is closed. There are a few important points that you need to know before moving to Austria. I remember when I was in the process of moving to Austria, there was no video on the internet that could help me to know what to expect when I arrive here. So this is why it hit my mind that now I have the experience, now I know what you can expect in Austria. So I have made a list of all the important points that I will discuss today. For people who are moving to Austria for the first time, whether you are a student, whether you're coming here for an internship, whether you're coming here for a job, I really, really hope this video will be useful for you. So my suggestion is to watch this video till the end because I will be covering some very, very important points in between. So I have this diary and I have made all the notes that I'm going to discuss today. So let's begin. So once you land in Austria, you pass through the security, you get your luggage, and then you need to go home. So the question is, how do you go home? Now in Vienna, there are two ways that you can go home from the airport. One is you take an Uber, the other is you take a train. So I don't want you guys to make the same mistake that I did. So what I did was I went outside the airport and I sat in one of the taxis that are mainly outside the airport because I just wanted to reach home as quickly as I could. So I didn't even check the rates of Uber. I just went outside, chose a taxi and sat in the taxi. And when I reached my dorm, they charged me 52 euros. So later on, a friend told me that you should have ordered Uber instead of taking a taxi from outside the airport. Reason is because taxis outside are more expensive than Uber. So when I checked the rate on Uber, it would cost me 35 euros instead of 52 which i paid for the taxi outside the airport so my suggestion to you is you either take an uber or there's another app that we use in austria which is called bolt it's also like uber and the rates are almost the same so it's better that you put your destination in both of those apps and see which rates are cheaper and just go for it so once you order an uber or bolt you need to go to the first floor of the airport so the arrivals are on the ground floor and the departures are on the first floor. So obviously when we come out of the arrivals, we will be on the ground floor and you need to go to the first floor in order to find your Uber or Bolt driver. This is of course, if you want to take an Uber or Bolt. Now let's talk about if you want to take a train. Now the funny part is as soon as you reach Vienna, you will find advertisements of this train known as CAT, which stands for City Airport Train. You will find advertisements of this train literally everywhere and the funny thing is that they are advertising this train because it's expensive and there's one more train that you can go to which is cheaper than this train which most of the people don't know about so this train is called s7 and i will suggest you to take s7 if you want to take a train take s7 instead of cat now the difference between both trains is the cat is a non-stop airport train from the airport to the city center and it will take you only 16 minutes to reach the city center but it costs you 12 euros now on the other hand s7 is cheaper than this it will cost you only 3.90 euros to go from the airport to the city center it has multiple stops it's not a direct train from airport to the center but it will reach in the city center in around 25 minutes so my suggestion here is that if you are coming from a very long, hectic flight, don't take trains. Go for Uber, go for Bolt, because it's just one time that you need Uber or Bolt to go to your home. At least you'll reach your home quickly. You don't have to change trains again and again, because even if you take S7, you will reach the city center, but you still have to go to your address. So it might be far from the center. It might be close to the center, but you might still need another train or another tram or a bus. One thing that you can also do is you can take the train a seven to the city center and then you can call an Uber or a Bolt from the city center to your address. It will obviously be cheaper because the airport is a bit far from the center. And of course, you don't have a SIM card when you arrive in Austria. That was the case with me. I didn't have a SIM card. And without a SIM card, it's very difficult to navigate around the city when you're traveling in train. So to locate S7, you need to follow the train sign in the airport and it will lead you to the underground train. And once you start moving in the direction of the underground train, you will notice that there are ticket machines on the way. 
where you can buy a ticket to go to the city center. So you need to buy the ticket from Vienna airport to the city center, which will cost you 3.90 euros. So make sure you buy it. Don't travel without ticket. So once you reach home, you are done napping. Now you're fresh. You need to go out and buy a SIM card. And you obviously also need to buy groceries. So you can buy groceries and SIM card at the same shop. So there's this shop known as Hofer, which is located everywhere around Austria. You go to that store, you buy your groceries, and when you are at the cash counter, you ask them for a SIM card. They will give you a SIM card named as HOT, and it will cost you around one or two euros for the SIM card, and then you need to activate it when you go home. Once you have activated your SIM card, you can download the app, which is called Nine Hot, and you need to put your phone number in it, and then you need to choose the package. So the package that I use is this one. It gives you 1,000 SMS, 1,000 minutes, and 30,000 MB for one full month, and it costs you 9.90 euros. They also have more packages, as you can see. So you just choose the package according to your own preferences. This is obviously my suggestion because I am very satisfied with the SIM card, and it's also very convenient. Like when you're going to buy groceries, you can also buy the SIM card at the same time. But if you obviously want to buy another SIM card, you can definitely go for that too. Now it's time to buy a Metro card for yourself. Firstly, I will be talking about people who are here for either internships or jobs. This is not for students. So you need to buy either the annual ticket or the monthly ticket. So if you're here for one year, I will suggest you to buy the annual ticket, which will cost you 365 euros. If you're here for four months, five months, six months, obviously less than a year, then it's better that you buy the monthly card, which will cost you 51 euros every month. And let's say if you are a student, then you will get the semester pass, which will cost you 75 euros for five months. So the semester pass will be valid from when your semester starts till when your semester ends. So it's valid for five months and it will only cost you 75 euros, which is very, very cheap. Like I'm paying 51 euros every month for my monthly ticket because I'm not a student here. I'm an intern. So it's expensive for me, but it's cheap for students. Also, the student semester pass works for students who are under the age of 26. If you are above 26 years of age, it's not for you. And another important point about MetroCard is that don't travel without card because they are not checking regularly, but once they check, and if you don't have the ticket, you will be fined 105 euros, which is double the amount that you will pay for your monthly card. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you can buy your tickets online through this app, which is called Mobile. So you go to the app and then you can go to tickets. And before that, you have to create your account. So you go to shop and then you can choose the card that you want. So let's say you want the monthly card, you click here, you choose 31 days, you add your name, and then you just proceed to checkout and just pay for your ticket. Once you have done that, you can find your ticket in this app. So whenever someone comes to check, you will have your ticket right in front of you. So the next point is very, very important. Once you are in Austria, you have three days to register yourself in Austria. You need to fill in this form, registration form, which is known as Meldezettel in German. You need to fill it to register your address here. If you don't register it, you will not have access to basic services like, let's say, to open a bank account, you need this form. So it's very important you fill it out. And if you don't fill it out within three days, you might also be fined for that. So what you need to do is if you are living in a student dorm like me, you will get the registration form from the dorm office. If you're not living in a student dorm, then you can easily get the form online. You just um, download it and print it and then fill it out but you need the signature of the landlord. So whoever owns the property that you're living in, you need their signature on the form and you need to fill it out. So once you fill out the registration form, it's time to go to the registration office and submit the form. So there are different offices located in every district. Let's say you are living in the ninth district, there will be an office in your district. You just need to search it on Google Maps and you'll find the closest office near to you. Now, I would suggest you to book an appointment before going to the registration office because that way your turn will come quickly instead of waiting for your turn. And to go to the office, you need some documents, which include obviously the registration form and your passport. 
and it's also better to take some copies of your passport in case they need one so make sure you do that within three days of arriving in austria okay now it's time to tell you something about the grocery stores here so the cheapest grocery stores that we have in austria are lidl and hofer those are the cheapest ones and you can find them everywhere around austria like they're located everywhere and then we have villa which is i would say in the normal category so there's a brand in villa which is known as clever their products are very very cheap so if you happen to go to villa make sure you check clever products and you'll you'll see yourself that they're very cheap and then we have spar which i would say is the most expensive out of all of these but one important thing is that all of these stores have amazing discounts going on they have sales going on so sometimes even in spar you will find products that are cheaper than the other grocery stores so you need to keep an eye on all the grocery stores keep checking how the prices are and if there is some discounts going on you sometimes can get very cheap fruits very cheap vegetables if they are on sale if you need even cheaper veggies or fruits you can go to some turkish supermarkets which are known as atsan and icon i also go to these shops and they are wonderful if you are a Muslim and you eat halal meat, then these two shops are the perfect for getting halal meat. There's also one market called as Hanover Market, which is full of halal meat. It has also very cheap fruits and vegetables. So if you want to explore it, you can explore that too. And for people who are coming from Pakistan and India, you obviously need some Pakistani or Indian products. So there are multiple Indian shops located throughout Vienna. I don't know about other cities. I'm just talking about Vienna right now. So we have shops called as Rana Exotic Supermarket. We have one called MTC Exotic Market and we have one called Prosi. Prosi, I have never been to before, but I've heard a lot about it. The other two I've been to and they're amazing. You can get frozen chapatis, you can get frozen parathas, you can get all the spices, you can get Lipton tea bag. So if you're looking for those products, these are the stores that you must visit. Now, some information about the grocery stores in Austria is that the grocery stores here close very early in the evening. So they close max around seven and eight. And after that, you will not find any grocery store that is open. So make sure you buy your groceries before that. And on Sunday, every grocery store is closed here. So you will not find anything. If in case there's an emergency, you need some fruits, you need some vegetables, you need something very urgent, there is one shop that is always open. It's located in a train station called Protherston. So it's Billa and it's always open on Sundays. But I would not suggest you to go there. It's not really nice on Sundays. It's overcrowded and you have to wait in long lines in the cash counter. So it's better if you buy groceries on a Saturday. The other thing that I want to talk about is that once you're in Austria, there might be times when you need some products and you don't want to buy new products. So you're looking for secondhand products. There's one website which is called Will Haben. It's a great platform where you can get very cheap secondhand products. One tip that I want to give is that never lose your apartment key. Because if you lose your apartment key, you have to pay 200 euros for the key which is a lot. I know it's a lot. I lost my bag once and it had my apartment key inside. So I had to pay 200 euros, but fortunately I found my bag after months. So they gave me a refund of 200 euros, but important, important, important. Don't misplace your key ever. Always keep it with you. The last thing that I want to say is that if you're coming in Vienna in winter, make sure that you're prepared for the wind. Vienna is a very, very windy city and in winter it can be very terrible. Like in summer it's fine because the weather is hot so the wind doesn't feel bad. So make sure you have a windproof jacket with you. So this was it for today's video. I really hope this will be useful for people who are planning to move to Austria in the next months, in the next years. Because just like I told you when I was moving there was no such video on the internet. I try to cover as many points that I could and still if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'm always happy to help you guys and yeah I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!